what's up fam so it's darling and gospel here again for this week so i want to talk to you about one question that i've been getting quite uh frequently okay on the platform the question simply goes uh, do i need to know redox you know for my blockchain career you know to do to develop decentralized application to develop web tree based application okay the simple answer to that you know will be yes you understand but there is some technicalities around it which i'm going to uh, show you people okay whenever you are seeing uh the job description of a web trade job blockchain you know senior blockchain engineer roles that are attributed to web tree it's often not quite mentioned that you need redox or state management library experience why from my own experience as a blockchain developer that i've been working this technology for you know <laughs> on a daily basis what i will tell you is that it's extremely important you know but it you won't know until once you're in it already why because the blockchain we deal with data okay data that are stored on the chain when data are stored in the chain you need to retrieve it then you need to be able to what put it in a single place where all your components can have access to it neglecting to utilize you know state management libraries such as redox will only give you a lot of headache along the line you see when you're trying to use a ton of data that is coming from uh, the blockchain and sh distribute them to their various components within your React or Next.js or React Native uh, framework. You're going to need a central place where these things you can pick, the, the data can be mutually shared between and be operated from. Okay, that is so so important because I have been working this and there is no project that I've launched here on this on this uh, platform that we haven't actually utilized a state management library it's almost like a no-no i'm not saying that it's impossible to do so to to work this technology without a redox or without a state management library but the thing is that you're going to experience that whole catastrophe in uh, component driven development known as prop drilling where you keep on passing prop within another child within another parent within another child now that is going to be what crazy and it's going to be very very e you know difficult for you to to utilize such kind of um system so that's why you really need um, a state management library such as redox so i'm going to show you i'm going to start showing you some uh, job descriptions on the web that doesn't ex explicitly you know say that you're gonna need a uh, redox as a skill you know in taking care of this job as it is redox is not pro is not actually being listed as in the job description but once you're inside of uh the whole thing that is when you're gonna you know experience that oh man I need Redux. Oh man, I don't want you to be in that situation. We'll be like, oh my God, I don't really know Redux. You understand? So I'm going to show you some job description right now. Let's look at it. And please take a moment to just hit that like and subscribe button, which will really help the channel grow and make more people to be able to see what we're doing here. So please, if you haven't, please hit that like and subscribe button. And that will be it, man. Okay, so this is one of the jobs that I found, which is a full-time mid-level uh, levels of developers that can come into the space you know when you come here to check out some of these uh things requirements or job description three years plus of as a front end or full stack or back end developer role it means that you've made use of what react and typescript right so you see when you're wandering into the the realm of react and TypeScript, you won't often what well, you will often you will often have to deal with Redux. It's almost impossible for you to learn React finish and you don't have to deal with you know state management library. So you will need React so long as you need React or JavaScript altogether. You're gonna need Redux. Look at this experience developing one deploying and running dApps okay dApps require these things that i've just finished telling you you know good understanding of javascript ethereum sdk such as 
Web3.js and Itas.js, all of these things are going to quite require Redux under the hood to work on. This okay, this web tree, web tree front end engineer. Look at this. This is very important, okay, because most of you, this is what you'll be using. Say so design and develop user interface for web tree application using React Next.js and Web Tree technologies. Because of this alone, you're gonna to have to use Redux because it will boil you to come down to that surely. So this is very important, okay. So that is like the most uh, pronounced thing that you need to just take note of. So even uh, what is okay, that is about all the jobs that I've been able to find here. And if you haven't checked our website, we have our courses still here for in-depth learning on various blockchain topics. And to be frank with you, we are about we are actually about to very close to dropping that mentors academy which is just up and running and you need to check it out you do your registration here and that we you know uh you can book your status here and you can see that once you register your status you can you are granted an early access which come with a surprise package only for you know uh qualified you know people make sure you don't drop redundant emails and emails that are not real okay only we are only giving people uh this this surprise so people that are actually you know real using real emails and not some fake emails i see every email so if you use you know dumb emails you don't get any access so please make sure that um you 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 register and stand a chance you know you know of getting whatever we'll be giving as a surprise package in the channel and in our website so please take note we're coming and we're coming guys stay stay very fresh because in our next tutorial which is about which is going to be dropped on this channel we're going to be developing converting this uh this uh figma script into a blockchain voting application okay which you will see on the channel so take note of that because this is absolutely coming to the channel and it's going to feature a lot of cool uh, front end, you know, a mix with a smart contract logic that is going to really, you know, make you, you know, ace your web tree development understanding and all of that. It's going to have the very cool features with uh, uh, this is going to be built with Next.js, TypeScript, Tailwind, Redux, all of those cool stuff so that you can use this knowledge to, to excel in your, you know, blockchain related activities.